So for some people, volunteering is a love language. So much so, they pack their bags and suit up for service. In fact, the Peace Corps and International Service Group says North Carolina ranks among the top states producing volunteers. In 2023, 71 people left our state to start their mission. We caught up with one of them, a Carolina graduate now living in East Asia. This is Dan in seventh grade with his Outward Bound crew. Karen Barlow is bursting with pride. Her husband, Todd, too. The Barlows reliving their son's younger days through pictures. I, I try not to be too proud, but I'm proud of them, you know. We visited their Raleigh home to learn more about their son. So, Dan's first love. Daniel Barlow. Was soccer. It fizzled out eventually, and what came next sparked a lifelong love affair. A day of volunteering at Camp Grace turned into a two-year job. So I don't know if you're aware what Camp Grace is, but it's a camp for kids with special needs. It's emotionally and physically draining. Fast forward, he's still helping kids on the other side of the world. So right now, Lauren, I am in Arvaham, Mongolia. 12 hours ahead of us in Raleigh, Daniel up early talking to us on Zoom. Thank you, Mom and Dad. He tells me he arrived there last June after two days of travel. Oh, what am I missing about Raleigh? Eastern style barbecue. Craving a taste of home, but his appetite to help much bigger. I do like giving back more than I think, and that I do enjoy a lot helping those that aren't as fortunate as I am. The decision to help this time meant leaving a salary job in Raleigh to volunteer with the Peace Corps. Oh, I checked the box that said send me anywhere. Now, more than 6,000 miles from home. He is definitely energized by being with people and peers and groups. And, um, and he does have a thread of wanderlust. He decided on teaching English as a second language. What has been the most rewarding part of this experience for you so far? Oh, when my students, uh, we're in March now, seeing mm -hmm. my students from September speak in English to me. Um, we go from no English to at least a little bit of a conversation. Words, phrases, sentences. For Daniel, it's a love language of giving back. Treating people well, making sure that you care about your surroundings and how other people are doing. That was just the way I was raised. Nine months in, Daniel has zero regrets and has these wise words for anyone thinking of doing something, anything. That you should at least try it because trying and failing is, in my opinion, a lot better than regret. So Daniel's service continues through July or August of 2025. His parents tell me they will head to visit him at the end of June, so hopefully they can take that barbecue his way. And I promised him, Joel, that I would mention this. What's that? Mr. Beast, a YouTube sensation yeah, yeah, yeah. from Greenville, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. He says the kids there where he is are learning English <laughs> through watching Mr. Beast on YouTube. <laughs> he thought it was very fascinating, and I, I thought, wow. Well, that makes sense. American yeah. kids love Mr. Beast. East Asian kids apparently love Mr. Beast. I know. Learn some English. Look, you can tell he's got a very big heart. Yes. Volunteering is his love language. I know. His heart's huge. Huge. Good stuff. All right.